Hello and welcome to my first YouTube video. I'm going to show you how to create a ruler in Crusader Kings 2 because lots of people have problems with it. <coughs> it's a um, pretty good game, but if you have heard about the multiplayer in it and you plan on buying it for the multiplayer, I would advise against it because the multiplayer doesn't really work all the time. It's very good when it does work, but 90% of the time it doesn't especially the land. The land is pretty useless when if you do get it working it's likely to crash. So to create your own ruler first you have to have obviously the game Crusader Kings 2 and then the ruler creator pack. Um, to create your ruler uh, lots of people actually have problems finding the button itself so um, you're in the home screen just click single player and then pick an area you want to start for now I'll just pick Ireland because it's easy and then you see your ruler here and all you have to do is click this little button here the ruler designer and you can start uh, working on your person um, if you plan on playing in Ireland or any particular culture don't go picking Byzantine or Baltic or West Germanic for a place because your people will end up hating you because you're not from the same place. Uh, you could eventually win them over, but maybe not. And I really don't advise it. I tried it once, and everyone revolted all the time. And they always had twice the size armies. Me and I end up dying quite a lot and <coughs> resigning and restarting and loading. It just it doesn't work out. So you can go through all your hairstyles. Um, there's not really many of them. So, you just set that up. This is all the, the simple stuff. I'm just going to leave him like this for now because it doesn't really matter to me what he looks like. Um, then you go into your coat of arms. So, this is, again is really easy. This is just slot one if you change it. But at the moment, this is just the layout plane just to show you. That's the green background. Um, you can separate it and then you get a second slot here. And that'll be down there, as you can see. Um, then you have. Again, divide them to the center. And you can keep going through it, and then you have four slots. And you see all the options come up for the different slots. And then you have three slots. So for now, I'll just leave it kind of boring and messed up with crazy shit everywhere that doesn't work together at all. But yeah, that'll be fine. Uh, down here, then you can change your colors. So again, pretty simple. Um, just go through the colors, whatever you want. Again, I don't really care, so just make it look strange. Um, later I will do a tutorial, which will be my second video on YouTube, about how to actually start the game and set up everything and go through it, because it is actually pretty difficult to get through it. Now this is the part that lots of people have problems with, so just enter your name over here. Um, I'm going to call him Thor, because Thor is cool. Um, and that'll do. So, now... Here's where the sort of thinking comes into it. You have to. I advise leaving all of these, th th this area alone and this area alone for now. Uh, don't add any sons or daughters because you can get them pretty easily. Don't make yourself married because it's better to find an actual proper wife when you go in. If you just pick a a wife straight off, you can. Well, you can you can add up. You can end up with a pretty pretty shit wife. She can have really awful traits and you know just try to kill you all the time. So the first thing you want to do is go down here to education and pick a, an educational trade. Um, you can pick skill tactician or brilliant strategist. Now see, if it's red, this is going to add to your age. So you have a max age of 50 to start with, but um, at the moment I usually pick skill tactician. For, so for now I'll pick skill tactician. That adds 12 years to my life up here, so I went from 16 to 28. Um, then I would advise going to traits down here and this is where you can make up things so you can make yourself incapable and you take minus 66 and then you can add lots of good traits as well but if you pick anything like possessed or lunatic or leper just so you can offset the good traits it's it's, it's a terrible idea because people end up hating you anyway and it, it's never going to work but i would advise picking wounded um that's a good one because uh you just end up with a scar and people you know they don't they like scars 
for some reason. It you know, makes you attractive or whatever. But by the way, then I usually pick excommunicated because you can get rid of that at the very start of the game, which I'll I'll show you straight straight after this if I have time. Um, Kinslayer is not a good one uh, because you know you, no one ever trusts you. Um, homosexual isn't bad in some areas, but for now in Ireland, it's not accepted at this period in time. It's it's not so bad in the Byzantine Empire, as far as I know. Um, I didn't play it now, but my brother did, and he said they don't really care. Some places, though, you know, your your underlings really don't like it at all. Um, I advise picking quick because it's very good. It adds it adds three to everything here. Uh, don't pick genius because you'll be very old and die pretty quickly. Um, and whatever you do, do not pick inbred because you die very young, uh, you're more than likely not going to have any children and your dynasty will end in about 10 years and you'll have to start the game again, which is pointless. Um, you can pick a hedonist, I'm not even sure what that really means, but bring up your fertility, church doesn't like it, whatever, you know, doesn't really matter, it, fertility is a good thing, more children. Um, children are important in this, so... When you're marrying your wife, make sure she doesn't have any crappy fertility traits or she's chaste or something because, you know, then you're unlikely to have a child. Um, green, by the way, means that this takes away from your age. So th these are good. You want you want you have to add some of these if you want to work out or anything. Lustful is a bad one because if you do ever get married, your wife will hate you. Temperate's pretty good. I, I like I like temperate. Uh, slothful, not so much. I don't really like that because people hate you again you have to remember the traits that you pick are outwardly visible as well and people don't like it at all um, if you're if you're crap so then you keep going through it I like patient as well deceitful um, Craven is terrible do not pick Craven I made that mistake once thought it was a great idea it's not <clears throat> um, content isn't a bad one to have for yourself because you actually control your character so it's you know if 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 you had a son that was content to be a bad thing because you know he wouldn't really want to succeed you. Cynical is good too. Church doesn't make it again, but and cruel. I I like cruel because it takes away years, but doesn't do anything. And then you can add the likes of brave. So pick all your bad traits first, the ones that people might like, but they take away from your years. So you you stay low age, and then go back and put on the. The other things like gregarious things that you want. Um, the strong here somewhere. Strong is a very good one to pick because you get lots of children from it. But as you can see, it adds forty. Like I've just gone up to forty-five there, so it's not really. It's not a good one to have on there. Um, so it's gone now. Oh, uh, if you want to get rid of some a trait down here, just go down and right-click it, and it 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 goes. Don't click that, it's annoying, it removes all traits. I thought it was to remove one at the start, but it's not. Um, attractive is another good one, so I'll just pick that. and st We'll stay at 21. Um, add on to my health. <coughs> That's my actual health. Your health will start off lower if you pick wounded. I don't worry about that too much. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, click up your diplomacy. Uh, it's in very important to have good stewardship. If you don't have good stewardship, you can't control much land, so it's important anyway. Now, so start the game. It's it's pretty simple and straightforward. It's just some people have problems, and especially the traits side of things, they end up being way too old and <coughs> stuff like that. I'm not going to go into too much detail now because I'll do this properly later. But basically, what you want to do straight away at the start, um, if you picked excommunicated, is go to Intrigue, which is this tab up here. Um, you'll have plots here. So you can you can try kill someone up here, and this is your plot power. I'll show that in another tutorial if you want. If you, if you want me to show you how to get someone killed with a plot, um, just message me and I'll, I'll do it if people want me to. Um, this is what you want to select. So you want to go to Intrigue when you go to come in if you pick text communicated. You want to click Intrigue, go right down to the bottom, this little scroll tab here. 
Uh, click issue declaration of repentance.